click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends so in the last problem we saw uh, purchase of scrap from two suppliers a uh, quite unique problem and again we have a production schedule problem here uh, let's read the problem first A firm makes two products X and Y and has a total production capacity of 9 tons per day. So the total production of X plus Y every day cannot be more than 9 tons. X and Y requiring the same production capacity. So they, they, both are, uh, you can say both are produced or manufactured on the same machines or the same setup. The firm has a permanent contract to supply at least 2 tons of X and at least 3 tons of Y per day to another company. So that is a minimum supply constraint. You have to supply minimum 2 tons of X and 3 tons of Y every day. So your production cannot go beyond this 2 tons for X and beyond 3 tons for Y. Then they are given each ton of X requires 20 machine hours of production time and each ton of Y requires 50 machine hours of production time. X ke 8 ton ke liye 20 machine hours lagta hai. Y ke 8 ton ke liye 50 machine hours lagta hai. The daily maximum num possible number of machine hours is 360. So the maximum machine hours available to us is 360. All the firm's output can be sold. So there is no demand constant as such. We can sell whatever we are manufacturing. And the profit made is 80 per ton for X and 120 per ton for Y. It is required to determine the production schedule for maximum profit. So we need to formulate this and decide how much should I produce for which product. Again, we'll first like to tabulate this into a table and then we'll actually solve the problem. So here are my products, product X and product Y. Product X. Product Y. Here is my machine. Machine hours. So each ton of X requires 20 machine hours and Y requires 50 machine hours and the total machine hours are 360. So X may lagta hai 20 machine hours. Y may lagta hai 50 machine hours or hamare pass available hai. Three sixty machine hours. Then we are given the profit per unit for product X it is 80 rupees and for product Y it is 120 rupees. And then we are given the in the third line that there is a permanent contract is a permanent contract to supply at least two tons of X and at least three tons of Y. X ka at least two tons or Y ka at least this is the minimum supply required for both the products. So we are done with the tabulation I think. Uh, the total production capacity of 9 tons per day, this line was missed earlier. So just note down it here. So the total capacity is 9 tons. Overall you can't make more than 9 tons per day because that is beyond your capacity of the machines or the setup. Now comes the next part, the basic assumption. So let's start with the assumption. First my basic assumption.
let x1 units of product x and h2 units of product y are manufactured now my objective function will be to maximize the profit but obviously we are given the profit in the problem so objective function maximize z equals to how much is my profit per unit is 80 rupees multiplied by x1 so 80 into x1 plus 120 into x2 will be my profit so 80 into x1 plus 120 into x2 subject to i got some constraints first machine are constraint 20 x1 plus 50 x2 should not be more than 360 hours so 20 x1 plus 50 x2 less than equal to 360 so 20 x1 plus 50 x2 less than equal to 360 second we have minimum supply constraint I should supply minimum 2 tons of x and 3 tons of y so x1 more than equals to 2 x2 more than equals to 3 that is my minimum supply constant and then we have the total capacity the total capacity of my factory or the setup is 9 tons so my total production that is x1 plus x2 cannot be more than 9 tons so this is the total production constant these two are my supply constraint and this was my machine hours constant writing down the constraints in the bracket will be purely optional you can skip this part in the exam if the time is limited it's always better to note down those things while solving here in the classroom because that way it can be referred in the future and the doubts can be cleared at last I will note down the non-negativity constraints that is x1 more than equals to 0 and x2 more than equals to 0 with this the problem is done thanks, thanks for watching this video do subscribe to our channel Ikeda